Hello, um, I will introduce you to um, my work, the new work uh, for Priestley's, which is um, a common um, and, uh, nature reserve. So we will do a few short films and um, the first one is to explain to you a little bit more about Priestley's. So that's the first leaflet that was given to me by the client, which gathers uh, the history of the site and different uh, images of uh, the wildlife. I then worked um, after a visit on site, uh, starting from photos, um, on different uh, sketches with my iPad. It was the time when we were all um, limited in movement, really in March, April. And I worked from home and carried on with uh, the design, which is um, a study uh, with Procreate, basically, and thinking of uh, how do I play with uh, different elements of colors, wildlife. Um, but thinking that the main subject uh, of the site is a silver studded blue. And the silver studded blue is a butterfly which was um, uh, had to be saved, basically, was in danger of uh, disappearing. And that's why the window is um, showing the egg, the different stages of the larva, the pupa, and then the butterfly. And it's life um, with uh, the ants, which is a relationship between ants and uh, that butterfly. So at the stage of a larva, sometimes, ants would be carrying it around, moving it around and I've put a little bit of detail in the design there. Then you've got the... to enter the site you've got uh, like a path, um, you know, a main path. There are a few others around but that's the main one and I've used that idea of a path to enter the landscape. In that entrance to the landscape, you have um, the larva, and the larva, a study of the body of the larva, which different elements of its body, which would turn into uh, a form of uh, design um, to do with the landscape as well, and, and really to interact between. Uh, the butterfly, its different stages of life, and the landscape. Around the landscape, obviously, this butterfly is not the only one living there. And I was given uh, quite a few pictures as well as this leaflet. So I've worked from the photos given to me, and I've got a, a list of uh, different uh, animals and moth and butterflies, trees, plants. Um, so you have different uh, corners where those will appear in the window. And in agreement with the client, we decided that it wouldn't be uh, something which is hyper-realistic uh, when it comes to scale, but more like when you are walking in this landscape you get closer and view something and then you really see a close-up and sometimes you just see a landscape and a, and a large view so that's the idea of the window is to move from like you would be your eyes would be on something you noticed to uh, more like a poetic landscape a reading of uh, of a landscape like a piece of poetry so at this stage um, thinking of poetry, then I also thought of the reading of the window because it's between two rooms and both rooms would have a different reading. It's not a window which is one side indoors and one side outdoors. And therefore I'm working on the qualities of textures on the surface of the glass as well as um, the different seasons and the different um, the wildlife which is on site. So on one side you might be seeing the rabbits, on the other side you see the lizard 
um, the dragonfly or the crickets really. Um, and on the other side you would see a bird which is uh, the yellow wagtail which would be around the pond um, and different butterflies which are on site uh, and you know from understood <laughs> so you you'd be playing viewing the window one side you read a, a certain word v viewing it from the other side you read another word and the same with the quality of the the colors it will be read from both sides and i hope that you will enjoy following up the making the crafting of the window in my series so i'll see you soon Bye. <laughs> Bye.